Hey guys, I got cut off again. Every time I touch my phone, I hit the wrong button or whatever. But uh, real quick, just wanted to show you these two Jacoji uh, 14 karat gold chains. They're both 22 inches. Show you that uh, Jacoji's weight, length, everything's usually right on. Um, let me go back in here with this. Okay, so I uh, got the 5.5 millimeter flat curb and the 3.5 millimeter Byzantine. And they're both 22 inches, and uh, just so you can see, they're they're right on. So, anyway, um, real happy with my purchase, as always. Uh, Jacoji, um, true to his word, uh, quality merchandise, uh, great service, customer service. Um, this is uh, again the Byzantine uh, three and a half millimeter. Um, and here compared to the five and a half millimeter flat curb, you can definitely see that uh, the Byzantine can hold its own next to any any other chain. I mean, you know, in, in that weight class and in, in that, you know, in that general size, I mean, of course, uh, you can't compare it to like a, a, a three and a half millimeter Byzantine is not going to look all that big next to um you know like a six millimeter rope or anything but uh here you go uh five and a half millimeter which turns out is closer to a six millimeter flat curb the three and a half millimeter byzantine certainly you know looks pretty good next to that i mean it looks just as good it looks just as big so i mean as far as that goes um that Byzantine just, I love it, you know, so, um, these are t two of the best chains I've ever bought from Jacoji. The Franco is probably the best one. Um, uh, I ended up getting rid of it, um, because gold's up right now. Um, so if anybody's wanting to get something else from Jacoji, chances are if you bought your chain a couple of years ago, you'll probably pretty much break even on it. Um, I doubt you'll make any money, but you know, you should be pretty close to break even. I know I have on a couple of chains like that, uh, heavy link and, um, Franco, I ended up getting my money back for both of those. So I didn't have to take a loss. It, uh, you know, you got to make sure you go to a good place that you can trust. Um, I deal with, uh, the guy from hardcore pawn, uh, less gold, the TV show. Um, he loves Jacoji gold. I mean, no hesitation. When he sees that stamp, boom, he knows it's real. Um, his son, Seth, did test uh, the rope. But, um, you know, that's their job, whatever. And anyway, that that went real good for me. I was able to uh, get a, a few extra bucks. I went ahead and bought both of these chains with what I got for the rope. Uh, I threw a couple of other pieces I had in, but uh, nevertheless you know sometimes you just i get tired of the stuff and i want something different but i've always wanted the byzantine always wanted it so um now i got it and i'm real happy with it it's definitely a fine chain uh you can like i said you can trust jacoji quality products uh quality gold um so um yeah Look at that, how it compares to that five and a half millimeter flat curb. The Byzantine just stands up. Look at that. In the other video, I did weigh them and everything, so no point in going through all of that again, but uh, I will go ahead and put it on just in case you didn't see the other video. So this is the three and a half millimeter Byzantine. It weighs 46, a little over 46 grams. Um, just a, a great solid heavy chain and um, 
it's just great looking chain i've always liked the byzantine so there's that and then here is the five and a half millimeter flat curve again like i said that byzantine just holds its own against this five and a half millimeter flat curb uh, i might wear the flat curb tucked in and then you know the byzantine out so it's kind of going to look you know like like that right there i don't know if it's going to show up or whatever but uh anyway that the the flat curb i'm never taking that off it's just uh it's a great chain it it feels nice it doesn't bother me or anything so you know you'll be able to see a little bit of that flat curb there but uh for the most part the byzantine is the one i want to rock i've had one before but like i said i i got rid of it i gave it to my son he he's proud of it too man he loves that chain um but the the edges the corners you know how byzantine has four corners um that chain was like diamond cut on the edges so it, it wasn't round but kind of like hexagon um anyway it, it made it look smaller this one actually looks bigger that's why i thought it was a four millimeter when i got it i and even when i do check it on the ruler um it's still almost four millimeters so it, it may say 3.5 but visually it totally looks like a four millimeter so if you're on the fence uh wanting to get the four millimeter uh you know yeah it's heavier if you're into the weight but you're going to get the same appearance with the 3.5 that you would with that four. It's so close. And I found the same thing with the Franco. If, if you, you know, you're, you're wanting to spend that extra money to get that weight, or if you really are in it just for the look, I mean, you can go down a half a millimeter, save nearly a thousand dollars and, um, get basically the same look. Uh, and then of course the flat curb, you get, the look for a lot less um you know like if you get a seven or eight millimeter or even that 13 millimeter you're going to get a huge look for the amount of money that you're spending on on the chain the byzantine is always one of the heaviest chains the byzantine the franco the heavy link those those chains you, you got to pay for what you get uh the byzantine visually looks bigger than any other chain um i i don't know if there's another chain like that but uh i definitely think the byzantine is in a class all by itself um the the look is just amazing you're not you're not gonna outclass it i mean the franco is probably the second nicest chain but that that's my opinion so you know whatever you like uh, you know it's up to the individual so but man i am super happy with this chain um i think it was 20 just under 2700 for this one it's 46 grams and i know gold's high right now but i'm telling you it's just going to keep going up i don't see it going back down uh not in this day and age it's only going to go up and like i uh said in my last video a year ago i um bought my gold rope it was 20 uh 22 inches six millimeter and i think i paid around 24 2500 for it a year ago and i turn around and literally um, I got my money back and then some, uh, this year. So, uh, I just got tired of wearing it, whatever. Like I said, it, but I'll tell you right now, these two chains I'm keeping forever. So, uh, I love them both. And, and sometimes you have to just, that's, that's the thing. You have to just keep shopping until you find what you want, especially when you can't just go to the store and, you know, try it on or whatever. But the Byzantine, wow. Uh, it's my favorite. I love it so much. I, I think I'll get me a 3.5 millimeter Franco. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have one, another one. Uh, the four millimeter was nice, but for the amount of money I paid for that uh, four millimeter 24 inch, even a year ago, uh, over a year ago, that was well over 3000. So, uh, I mean, 3.5 millimeter uh, is just as good as far as I'm concerned. It's up to an individual, but uh, yeah, anyway, 22 inch Franco, uh, I'm sorry, 22 inch, uh, three and a half millimeter Byzantine looks like a big boy chain to me. Feels great. I like the way it looks. Um, I really do. So anyway, that's Jacoji real quick. I'll show you the card on it again, just in case you didn't see the other video, uh, 3.5 millimeter 
22 inch 14 karat yellow gold packed by brandy um, anyway 46.1 grams um, so there it is guys um, great chain for the money um, I totally recommend it I love it so all right uh, I still got my ring coming 10 millimeter Cuban should be here pretty soon today makes a month ago I ordered it and uh, I'm sure there's uh, you know a backup or whatever especially due to the virus so anyway uh, I'll see you guys in a few days